Please find a comfortable posture. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Gently close your eyes. Observe your body. Your body is observed. How do you feel in your body and mind this morning? Beautiful morning. this weekend with purpose you all are here in this beautiful place we call temple we created this temple for you to feel peace Practice mindfulness. We keep this place organized, clean. So whatever we create outside for you to be peaceful, how about we take the same temple experience to go inward. Whatever we created outside, we can create the same energy, same temple inside your mind. That is the purpose of this practice. Now take deep, long breath, then release, then relax your body, relax your mind. Now send your loving thoughts towards yourself, thinking, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. Using and repeating these three words, we are defining those three words to ourselves, where we understand them, what is well, happy and peaceful means to you. The way you understand them now, When you think of them, maybe after a week later, you may understand them differently because your practice will change. I call progressive practice. May I be well. 
May I be happy. May I be peaceful. Now send your loving thoughts towards your family. May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. Think of them individually by names. If they are good family members, nothing to worry. Anyway, you have deep connection with them. If you have difficult, challenging family members, how do you feel of them? Maybe they are annoying nature, they are behaviors, maybe you are disappointed or angry. How do you feel of them right now, those difficult, painful family members? Is it possible for you to forgive them? What is forgiveness? Forgiveness is completely letting go without reservations. If you cannot forgive or if you cannot let go, ask yourself a question, where is the problem? Problem is in me or somewhere else. When you are thinking of these things, your insight will expand. Your awareness is presence.
you are gaining wisdom. May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. May no harm come to them, may no difficulties come to them. Now send your loving thoughts towards whole world, may all living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. In this moment you are radiating your loving energy to the whole universe. You are like a powerhouse. Right now, the world needs peace. It means we need more peaceful people. When we have more peaceful people, we can create this world peaceful. Therefore think to yourself, I am the world, I am the peace. I am the messenger for peace. I am the one creating this peace. I am responsible for this peace. Now slowly turn your attention to your breath. Every breath you take in, you take out, is taken mindfully. Focus on your natural, ordinary breath.
if you are distracted by a thought or a feeling or a sensation bring your attention back back to the breath or present moment controlling your mind or your thoughts or feelings it is not meditation understanding your mind is the meditation mind wonders which is so beautiful it means you are active person you are not dead be grateful for that wow my mind is working but what you do as a meditation practitioner you are just paying little attention to your mind your thoughts your feelings or your senses then learn how to guide those senses how to manage them that is what we call meditation practice
Now observe your mind, observe your body. Your body is relaxed, your mind is calm, tranquil and peaceful. Now bring your palms together close to your heart. Make a wish for yourself. You are in a journey. Or if you want to make a prayer for somebody you care, whoever need blessings, this is a good time to do so. May peace be with you, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful. Thank you very much. Please open your eyes. Okay, we are going to do the chanting. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, are they here? Are they here? Okay. So, today we are going to dedicate this chanting, uh, Mac and Megan. Where they are? Megan. Okay, thank you so much. Because uh, why I want to chant for you today, because they are great helper for the temple. When you have all the electrical problem in this old building, <laughs> you know, they are coming to the temple and fixing everything as a volunteers. You know, electrical expenses are very expensive. And so we are so grateful for your time and energy. And so we are going to chant for you today. Okay. Thank you, Megan and Mac. Okay, let's chat. <clears throat> Namo tasse bhagavato arehato samma sambuddhasse Namo tasse bhagavato are ato samma sambuddhasse namo tasse bhagavato are ato samma sambuddhasse Buddhang saranang gachami Dhammang saranang gachami Sangang saranang gachami Dutiyampi buddhang saranang gachami Dutiyam pi dhammang saranang gachami Dutiyam pi sangang saranang gachami Tatiyam pi buddhang saranang gachami Tatiyam pi dhammang saranang gachami Tatiyam pi sangang saranang gachami Anicca vata sankara Upad vaya dhammino Upad jitva nirujjanti Te sang upa samosuko Sabbe santa Avera hontu sabbe santa 
అభ్యాపజంతు సంతనిగంతు సంత సుఖీయత్తన పరి మనోపుంభంగమాదమ్మ మనోసెట్ట మనోయా మనసాచే పదుటేన భాసతి వాతి వాంగ్ మన్వేతి చంకంగ మనోపుంభంగమాదమ్మ మనోసెట్ట మనోమయా మనసాచే పసన్నేన భాసతి వాతి వా తోనంగమన్వేతి ఛాయాపాయి We believe. We Okay. Good morning everybody and welcome all the newcomers. Uh, thank you so much for trusting us coming to the temple. Um, so, I meet so many people coming from the different backgrounds. Uh, Sometimes I meet very religious people, very strongly believing their religion which is okay uh good and so i meet religious people even they are religious sometimes they come to the temple i want to practice meditation i want to practice mindfulness um one day one person um made an appointment with me to meet and he came to the temple and he introduced himself he said his name i am so and so i'm coming from very strong catholic background don't make me buddhist <laughs> so 
So that's the first thing he said when he walked into this social room. Then he saw the Jesus, oh, now I feel better. So that's those experiences I have all the time in my life, because some people are so into religions. Then I meet another group of people recovering from religions. You know, people use the different words. I learned those new words from people when they people say that. Then some people say, I'm atheist. I don't have a religion. I don't have a belief system. Sounds like very Buddhist to me. Um, <laughs> so then some people said, I'm not religious. I'm not atheist. But I'm very spiritual. Sometimes I understand what it means. But when people come to me and said, Bhante, I'm so spiritual. I want to run. <laughs> Why? I have seen so many crazy people, including monks, called spiritual, they are creating more problems in the world. So, therefore, um, last week, a couple of people asked me those questions because I went to a couple of schools, uh, colleges. You know, sometimes children asking me those questions. Then I was thinking to myself, what it, what it means being religious, being spiritual. I think that's a really important subject we can talk, but things I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm thinking according to the teaching of the Buddha, no need to accept. No need to reject them either. Just being in the middle, listen to them, if you see something you can take and make your life better, then take it. Rest just when you walk into the showroom, put into the garbage. Right? So no need to think why Bhante said this or that. This is what I'm thinking. Okay? So now think about when I'm studying as a young monk, when I was studying history of human beings, how they evolved. You know, many thousand years ago, people didn't have any organized religions. So what they were believing that time? Huh? Nature. nature. They were believing nature. If they have a big tornado, then they were thinking somebody is doing it. So therefore, they try to believe in that and respect in it, treat like a god and higher power. Wind, ocean, what else? Mother Earth. You know, all those natural disasters, something happening to people, people start to pray to those things as a divine. So that means now, 21st century, you can see people are evolving, developing their mind. Now they can see cause and conditions. Therefore, now tornado come, like Florida, <laughs> hurricane come. You know, people know these are cause and conditions. Things happen because of this. And now we have this hurricane. People understand that. Now people are not praying to the hurricane, right? Oh, please, you are the divine being. Why? People are evolved. So, now in the world we have lots of organized religions. They are organized. Now think about the major religions. We, you know, no need to name them. They are Buddhism also one of the major religions in the world right now. Among those religions, there are so many subcategories, small religions too, different belief system. When you have a religion, they have a belief system, they have a higher power, they have rituals, they have dogmas. I'm totally fine with that. If anybody wants to practice that, I'm totally fine with that. But I call most of the religions are fear-based. Right? Why people start to pray to the nature? based on fear. Why people are praying to somebody? Based on fear. That's why we are not praying to the Buddha. Somebody asked me actually a few days ago, do you pray to the Buddha? I said, why am I going to pray to him? Because he is a human being. So that means I can pray to you also. So therefore we are not praying to the Buddha. Then he asked me, to who you are praying then? I said, nobody. I'm not praying to the nobody. Then you don't have any figure somewhere? I said, no, I'm the only figure. <laughs> I made the joke. I said, I'm the only figure. This is, you know, this is what I'm really looking into always. So therefore, 
I was looking for the meaning of the word spirit. The word meaning of the spirit, all uh, European languages, they use the spirit for the breath. Okay, now you can make the word, this is my definition. Somebody called, I am so spiritual, that means person who is taking care of his or her breath, we can call that person is so spiritual. So that means you are taking care of yourself. But some people called very religious. It's a different story. They have belief system. So now think about when I'm thinking about the, all the religious leaders we call in this future, you know, this current world, including the Buddha, Jesus, and all those other spiritual figures. I was thinking to myself, they can practice together. No problem. Now think about the Buddha, Jesus, all other religious leaders holding hands, walking together as a one group of people. Everybody walking the same direction. They are talking about the love, they are talking about the compassion, they are talking about the acceptance, those things they are talking about. Then they are keep going, keep going, same direction. So now they go to the end of this wall. That's their destination. After all the leaders go to that end, then they can see there is an end for them according to their belief system. Then they say, if you really want your salvation, happiness, inner joy or whatever you want, please give power to the outside and pray to the higher power. Whatever word you use for the God or divine, doesn't matter for me, whatever you believe, so pray to that higher power, then you will be fine. Then Buddha was thinking to himself, this is my imagination, Buddha was thinking to himself, wait a second. We work so hard together to walk this far. We work together to find out ourselves. Why we are giving all the power after we work together as a team, why you are giving this power to outside? Okay, you guys go, I'm going to make a U-turn. <laughs> so what I really see, how come Buddha came to this world, he was with same other people when you are studying uh, history of the uh, Buddhist teaching, you can see he looked like an American man for me. Why? He was testing. He was looking. He was going to teacher to teacher, place to place, religion to religion. He was looking for something. Then finally he realized everybody going outward. Everybody is going outward. Therefore, I'm going to make that U-turn. Because of his U-turn, I'm sitting here today. Does this make sense? Because of his U-turn, you are sitting here today. If he didn't make his U-turn almost 3,000 years ago, still maybe you are believing something and waiting for something to somebody to take care of yourself. So therefore, most of the religion, actually I call the fear-based religion, all the religions always say, come and believe. Even Buddhist religion, now we have a Buddhist religion, but Buddha didn't make that. Whatever people may we call the Buddhist religion, now even Buddhist people also believe in something. They have rituals. When you go to Sri Lanka, you can see lots of rituals. We were in Vietnam, lots of rituals. You know, when I go to Vietnam, those rituals doesn't make any sense to me. Even when I go to Sri Lanka, I do those rituals to respect to that culture, doesn't make any sense to me. But I am not a ritualistic person. If I do them, I just do it, respect into that culture. So we are doing little rituals here in the temple just for fun. Right? Just for fun. Sometimes people are asking, why you are chanting? Just for fun. <laughs> why you are singing? Just for fun. So therefore, we are doing all those things not to figure out your inner self. Those are like a raincoat. Put something for fun to save yourself that day. So therefore, I think we have to define what is spirituality, 
what is being religious. So for me, they said, come and see. Do you like that? No, I am telling you, no, don't come and see. Come and believe it. How do you feel? Not so good? You want to run? <laughs> right? So, um, two years ago I was in Vietnam. We were visiting a temple. There was a Vietnamese monk. One of the famous Sri Lankan monks started that temple during the Vietnam War to bring peace to that country in Vietnam. Still, his remains, the place he stayed, everything is there. Now there was a Vietnam, Vietnamese monk, he is the abbot of the temple. So what I did, I think it's very interesting, when I go to that temple, I heard some Sri Lankan music. It's a Vietnam temple now. So then I took all the students there, I asked this monk, he's speaking some English, give a talk, give some wisdom. Then he was pointing his fingers like this. You have to believe me. If you don't believe me, you know what will happen. Now all my American friends, they are so used to me, I am not that kind of person. I was thinking to myself, oh my God, even I don't believe the God, I use that phrase now. I said, oh my God, I don't know what I am going to say now. I am rolling my eyes, I am sitting next to the monk. Now everybody is looking at me. Then I make a hint from my eyes, calm down, just be cool, right? And so, people don't like that talk at all. It is so annoying to them why many of people listen to me at the temple, Blue Lotus here, we give the freedom to decide. That monk said, no, you, you are going to be a good Buddhist, you have to follow this instruction, if not, you, what will happen? You go to hell. Who wants to go to hell? I don't. Right? So, if I go there, I know what to do. I'm going to make it heaven. So, anyway. <laughs> so, now think about when even the Buddhist monk put it, putting a lot of religious connotation into his teaching, people don't like it. Now, modern world, I respect the, all the religions, but people are so confused with religions. So therefore, if you have a religion, if you feel it, if you believe it, please go and practice. Nothing wrong with that if you feel comfortable. I am not asking you to stop that. I am asking you to understand what is the difference. So then I make little few notes <coughs> this morning. So these are the things I recognize. Religion, always worshipping somebody. Higher power. That's the part of the religion. Spirituality. Encourage oneness with yourself. We are not giving power to the outside. We are giving power to inside. Religion always thinking God is outside of you. But my understanding when I am reading the Bible also say God is within you too. I heard that too. Right? But spirituality always telling, when you are spiritual, all the power within you. So that means you are giving power to yourself. The religion, because now think about how many groups in this country for religious harmony. Now we have, you know, we are part of it, we call the interfaith. You know, interfaith. You know, we are connected to the interfaith, the faith bridge. So we have a group here, we are part of it too. So why we have those religious groups come together looking for the religious harmony? That means they don't have, there are issues between the religions. That's why people are trying to bring all the religions together. What they are trying, we can live together as a spiritual human being. So that means I can see because of our deep uh, religious belief, sometimes we are separating from even our friends. One of my good, close family, uh, big supporters to the temple too, uh, they, you know, she told me, my brother and myself, because of our religious belief, we don't talk to each other. Why? He has totally different beliefs. I have totally into spiritual practice. Now he is thinking, I joined to a cult. 
So therefore, we talk once in a while, but we are not really deep connection. So that means we are separating from each other because of the religions. So, but because of the spirituality, I think we have to bring people together. Do you have seen any groups in this country, spiritual harmony groups? I don't think so, I never seen, but I always see groups, religious harmony groups. That means they have conflict among the religions, they try to bring it together. But in the spiritual community, they can accept as a one. Does it make sense? Those are the other differences. Then, so we are not separating. So when you come to spirituality, unite people regardless of their beliefs. How beautiful that. Now think about the Blue Lotus Temple. I don't know what you believe. It doesn't matter for me. If you are believing a God, great, go for it. Tomorrow morning go to church, please go. If you are thinking Bhante has to come too, please invite me, I will join. I will go and sit, I will go and listen, I don't have any issue. So tomorrow morning please go to the church and go and support them if you are really believing that. Nothing wrong with that. But do you take care of yourself? That's the question we have to ask. Then the next, um, next one. So, religions always following rules. You know, if you are not following the religious rules, you have a background, right? You know what will happen, what they are going to tell you. But the spirituality, not based on rules. Spirituality always based on mindfulness, love and compassion. Does it make sense? So now you can see, that's why Buddha's teaching is not fear-based. Why? It is a base on mindfulness and loving kindness and compassion. Then the next, <clears throat> religions always about others' experience. Religious always, we are talking about the others' experiences, but spirituality always talk about your own experiences. So there are so many things you can add into that. So therefore, what I am asking you today, don't give up your religion, respect to it, if you feel connected to it, please do. But same time, as a spiritual practice, we can summarize, it is your own practice, own salvation, own your freedom, your contentment, your inner joy, that is the spirituality all about. Otherwise, people always get into this religious and spiritual conflict. Now, people are asking me, Bhante, I have to keep my religion? Still, I can be spiritual. Long time ago, young man, you know, he was 19 that time, now he's a lawyer, he became a monk temporary here. So, he has the issue with his grandmother, almost like his mother, he had the issue. He wants to bring all his family to here to ordi ordination ceremony. He came to me and said, Bhante, I talked to my grandmother, almost like my mother, that she raised me. I really want her to be here. But she is coming from a very strong religious background. She doesn't believe what I am doing. She was so upset, she thinks I joined to a cult. I don't know what to do. I really feel good what the decision I am going to make. My all other family members are very happy about it, but not my grandmother. Is there any technique I can change my grandmother? I said, good luck. <laughs> but I can try something. So then I said, my friend, are you going to visit your grandmother? He said, yes, I am going to. So then I said, after you go and see your grandmother, tell her, grandmother, I know you don't like I am going to become a Buddhist monk. You know what I am going to do? I am going to be a Catholic Buddhist monk. So I said, please tell your grandmother I am going to be a Catholic Buddhist monk. So he said, grandmother, don't worry about it. I am not giving it up. I am going to be a Catholic Buddhist monk. Then right away this grandma said, that sounds better. <laughs> you know grandmas, right? That sounds better. 
Can you believe she joined to the ceremony? Actually, she built a really loving relationship with me, and she loves it. Why is that? She doesn't want it. Why is that? Fear. So therefore, if you have that fear, it is your own problem. What you have, that means you don't have power inside you. That's why you are giving power to the outside. Does it make sense? So that, as I said, don't believe everything. <laughs> if you are believing, then there's another conflict in your mind. So therefore, think freely. Try to get whatever best for you. Any thoughts? Anything you want to add? Or remove? <laughs> hmm? Any thoughts? So, one... Yes. So now, modern world, we have a religious feeling in, because people add more information into it. Their rituals, their customs, you know, everything. Now we call the Sri Lankan Buddhism, but it is only Sri Lanka. So that's a religion. Yeah, exactly. The teaching of the Buddha, science of the mind. All the things people add into it. Now think about it. That's why I said, when I go to Vietnam, their rituals, their belief system, totally different. Why? Whatever religions they have in that country, when Buddhist teaching mood, they mix with that tradition. One can change the question to the science of religion. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So the word is smooth. Right. I like that word. Now, more science, more understanding about the, how the world exists. People, I don't ask people to do it. People go away from the religions. People don't believe those stories anymore. Even some Buddhist stories, I don't believe. I always arguing, when I was young, I always say, I don't like it. I don't, you know, I'm a very different person anyway. And so I get into the trouble always, I don't believe it. So then teachers always trying to prove to me, you know, you have to believe it. But I didn't. Now they don't believe it either now. Why? Because of the science, everything is proved to the world. It is not accepting anymore. So therefore, I'm asking, don't disrespect to your religious background because of your family background, your ancestors. Keep it. We have to keep them alive to respect to them. Same time, your true religion is how to take care of your inner self. If you do that, whatever church, whatever temple, whatever mosque you go, which is fine for me. Does it make sense? So therefore, this is not a religious place. You know, there was a person in this morning, first time in the temple, I said, this is not the place to convert people. We are not converting people. Does it make sense? Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, announcements? Oh, today, I, uh, okay, you can do the announcement first. Then I will do the rest. Good morning, everyone.
Um, we have two weeks left of our farmer's market today and on Saturday, October 26th. After that, we are shutting down lunches for, for, for the year. Uh, Booty Kids is taking place uh, from 10 to 11 next Saturday the 19th, so please be sure to register if you want to bring a little one at that time. And also, Gothamtopia is taking place on the 19th, busy day that day. 6.30 to 8 p.m. Tickets can be purchased online using the QR code or in the gift shop. Uh, and you can find more information on our calendar on our website. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. I want to add one more into that because keep our spirituality and keep going in this place. As we all know, this is not the big organization. We don't have any big support from the big organization. Money or funding is coming. So our community, uh, whatever people give, that's how we are running this place. You know, sometimes people, when they come to this building, they say, oh, it's so beautiful here. But this is like a very old man. <laughs> and, you know, we know how to hide all the problems in this building to make everybody feel. Now, these days, it's really heavy in my head because winter is coming. Right? We have to prepare for winter. Our flow heating system is broken. So now we almost, we had to raise um, uh, $2,000, 1800 What? Oh, see? Yeah. So we had to raise that much money to raise and to fix the air conditioner. So anybody, I'm asking for you, for me, for all of us to keep our spiritual home safe. If anybody wants to donate for a specific cause, please talk to me. Tyler or Rebecca is here, somebody in the office. It's a big, urgent request right now because I'm keep postponing. No, don't spend any money. We have very little. and But I am keep trying these days to... Um, but you know. uh, for all you people, you just witnessed the historical day here. <laughs> I never do that. Yeah, I cannot do written talks. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, but more uh, to the point about the floors, um, we, uh, we we obviously have a. a, a uh, really more, I love the, describing this as an old man, this building. Uh, and you know, we just did a year and a half worth of extensive renovation, and we really did deplete a lot of building preservation fund. And so, some things like the floor breaking, uh, we have a car that really needs new tires. We're now in this moment where we used a lot of our resources because we had the building exposed and we had the opportunity to fix things at a really reduced rate. We went ahead and did that, and now we're a little vulnerable. So, if you can't give your money, but you're a great electrician or a great uh, plumber or a great HVAC person, please, please come talk to Rebecca. If somehow you have access to tires, please come talk to Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all for your support. And also, we do have a precepts class at 11.15 this morning. We'll just meet right over here in a small circle for anybody who's yeah. not that. Yeah, so we have two more little things. Please, Kendra. Kendra, please come forward. So Kendra has a little baby Buddha. Ooh, so she married in front of me. Now she has the babies. I bless all the babies.